Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about the overpass you're looking ahead. It's called the Three Miles Overpass. And we think the overpass should be renamed the Porsche Simpson Miller Overpass. Now this overpass is built at the busiest intersection in Jamaica. It's um, the intersection of Spanish Town Road and Hagley Park Road. And this is the busiest intersection in Jamaica. Now, just to give you a little oversight as to why, okay, we'll do that after. So, we believe all every prime minister in Jamaica should have a major road or highway named after them. So, Miss Simpson Miller should have a highway named after her, and this overpass should also have been named the Porsche Simpson Miller Overpass. It's in the three miles area, that's why they just call it the three miles overpass. But this is the busiest intersection in Jamaica. And this is the only double overpass in Jamaica. So it should have the name of a prime minister attached to it. Now, the top road is Hagley Park Road. So that Hagley Park Road runs from Halfway Tree, which is the busiest place in Jamaica, down to the intersection with Marcus Garvey Drive, where you can access downtown Kingston, the wharf, the Kingston Container Terminal, which is the largest wharf in Jamaica, and also access the Portmore Expressway, which takes you to Portmore. And Portmore has probably the largest population outside of the city of Kingston. So that's one of the reasons why that road is so busy. Then the lower road now is Spanish Town Road. That takes you from Mandela Highway, which is the busiest road in Jamaica, down to Hagley Park Road, where you can access Halfway Tree or Portmore or the Wharf. But it also runs all the way to downtown Kingston, which is also one of the busiest places in Jamaica. So that's why this road is so busy. And it, as you can see, look at the traffic that's on the road. So the traffic congestion at this intersection was awful, terrible. So that's why they decided to build this overpass here. And there was a park or a square at the um, before the overpass was built. There was a, a park or a square called the Porsche Sun the Porsche Simpson Miller Park, or it was the Porsche Simpson Miller Square, but it was named in honor of the former Prime Minister of Jamaica. But when the overpass was built, the park was removed to build the overpass, and it's only fitting that, that the overpass should be renamed the Porsche Simpson Miller Overpass. So guys, let us know what you think, and those of you who watch the channel, regularly know that we are not a political channel we don't talk politics but we do talk about roads and it's just a coincidence that we're talking about the naming of the road that's why we are talking about politicians all right so this is the spanish town road overpass we are on now and the road above it is the hagley park road overpass and this road was built by china harbor engineering company the overpass, sorry, was built by China Harbor Engineering Company. And it's a very nice overpass, the only double overpass in Jamaica. And it's built at the busiest intersection in Jamaica. So guys, let us know what you think about the renaming of these roads and this overpass to honor the prime ministers or former prime ministers in Jamaica. Now we have this is not unprecedented because we have highways named after former prime ministers already. We have the PJ Patterson Highway that runs from Kingston to Montego Bay. We have the Edward Siaga Highway that runs from King Kingston to Ocho Rios. And we have the Bustamante Highway, which is in Clarendon. And we have the Norman Manley Boulevard in Westmoreland in the grill and we have the Michael Manley Boulevard 
that takes you from downtown Kingston to the airport. We also have roads named after governor generals. You have Sir Florizel Glasspool Boulevard, um, out in Harborview. You have Howard Cook Boulevard in Montego Bay. So this is not something new. This just, we just need to speed up the process because every prime minister should have a highway named after them or a main road. And it's not only in Jamaica, it happens all over the world. A lot of countries do it. Some countries even have airports named after them. They have libraries. So this is something that should be, it shouldn't be political. It should be once you are a prime minister in Jamaica, you're going to get a road name, a highway named after you. And it should be the next highway built goes to the next Prime Minister in line. So guys, let us know what you think. Leave your comments in the section below. All right, guys, have a good day. Oh, we've also said that this road, Spanish Town Road, should be renamed the Porsche Simpson Miller Highway and it's only fitting that the Porsche Simpson Miller Highway leads it to the Porsche Simpson Miller overpass. And we've also said that Washington Boulevard should be renamed the Bruce Golden Highway. And we've also said that Mandela Highway, the busiest road in Jamaica, should be renamed the Andrew Holness Highway. So we are for naming all the main highways and roads in Jamaica after former prime ministers and as we said once you are a prime minister it should be automatic that a highway is named after you because it shouldn't be political basically so if you know you're a prime minister and another highway is being built because there are so many highways being built in jamaica you know automatically the next available highway goes to the next prime minister in line all right guys let us know what you think remember to like share and subscribe have a good day